Uh, I didn't upload a video on Sunday, so you still haven't seen my workbenches that are right behind the camera. That's because I crashed my MacBook with coffee. Well, stuff like that happens, not worth getting mad about. But I will upload the workbench video definitely next Sunday. The question I got asked most in last week's vlog was, how do I get clients? And I think it's a, that's a very difficult question to answer because for one thing, I just quit my job in May, so I'm new to this game as well. But I can tell you how I think it works. Um, getting clients is not hard because if you're handy and if you work in crafts, there's always jobs you can do. The hard part is to get clients that you really want to work for. I think it's a three part process. One, you need to know what you want to sell. And that is the hardest thing to figure out. At least it was very hard for me. The second really, really important thing is put it out there for the client to see. Once you know what you want to sell, document it and document it well and put it out there so the client can take a look at it. And that can be on social media, it can be on YouTube, or it can be in the bar talking to a stranger. The most important thing is to communicate what you want to do. Always imagine that people don't know anything about you. They don't know what you're passionate about. They don't know what you're good at. They don't know anything about the maker scene or being a craftsman. You have to tell them what is so special about what you do and what is it that you're really, really good at. Um, that is pretty tough to figure out. And for me, that is one reason why I'm on YouTube, because it is a platform for me to show my future possible clients. This is what I do. And if you like it, you can contact me and, I, and we can work something out. So the third step is making the deal. And that also is communication. And that is figuring out how much it costs. But that's a whole nother story. David Petruda just put out a really great video on how to price your work. Maybe you probably have seen it, but if not, make sure to check it out. Just to give you a hands-on example, I will tell you my Frank Turner story. When he played in Cologne in 2013, I took one of my thank you for the music lamps with me to put it on stage for him to, well, thank them for the music. Two years later, they announced to play a small show at the Underground, which I really wanted to see, but it was sold out in minutes. So I wrote the guitarist Ben a message and asked him if he would put me on the guest list if I would build something new for the band. He agreed, and so I built those steel light boxes for them. They even put the boxes on stage. Check it out. After the show, the production manager came up to me and asked me if I could build the same boxes, only way bigger. Of course, I said yes, and that's how I ended up working for Frank Turner and learning how to drive a forklift. I can't tell you how proud I am to have worked for Frank Turner and the Sleeping Souls, and it would be awesome to get more jobs like that in the future. I really enjoyed doing that music-related design. So the band came to town last Friday and they were cool enough to let me take the camera with me. So I got some pretty cool shots for you. But see for yourself. chance to see Frank Turner and the Sleeping Souls live you should really do it they are amazing on stage it's a it's the perfect live band let's check out another one of my favorite stores in Cologne it's called Schrauben Schwarz I had to go there to get some stuff for the workbenches last week and I took the camera with me to show you this incredible place 
It's a family business run in the third generation. A father and his two sons work there and they have everything you could ever need when it comes to screws and hardware. And the most amazing thing to me is that they are so on top of their stock. They know where everything is. And sometimes I feel like even before I know what I'm looking for, they know where to find it. Those guys are always good for a small friendly chat. And that day the guy told me that his stock weighs around 170 tons. 170 tons of screws and nuts and bolts and whatnot. It is so cool. If you're ever in the Cologne area, make sure to check this place out. Another thing I want to say real quick, thank you for my 8,000 subscribers. It's been 2,000 new subscribers in a week. I don't know what to say, honestly. I'm blown away by you guys. Thank you so much. I enjoyed getting all the questions, so please, for next week's video, don't be shy. Ask away. I'm happy to pick one question to answer in the next vlog. See you then.